14 of us, so we said, bring what you don't want. This is a reunion that was 55 years in the making. That's when all of these men began their training for an occupation that would put many of their lives in danger, all in the name of protecting the public. They are all retired members of the RCMP who trained in the same unit, and this reunion is the first time many of them have seen each other in decades. The bond that we've had is so strong that we've had members here today that we haven't seen in 55 years. And surprisingly, we couldn't recognize them. That's not surprising. We have, we've actually had uh, uh, two or three of these reunions. We had a 30 years. I think we had one at 40, no, 50, and then 55. And it's amazing. We have 16 members from our original troop of 32 that have shown up. Now that in itself is, is amazing. And we're all still able to sit up and take nourishment. That's even better. How you doing? In addition to all the typical outings groups participate in when visiting the valley, these fellas made time for a special stop at the West Bank Museum. Well, there's the ceremonial belt. Before arriving for their reunion, they all looked through their trunks and closets for items from their time in law enforcement, whether it was a pea coat or a hat. And now instead of maybe collecting dust locked away in a cellar, the items will be catalogued and become part of a permanent exhibit celebrating what is perhaps the purest symbol of Canadiana. When our American tourists come, they all want to see Canadian history and they all love the Red Surge and our Royal Canadian Mounted Police. Many of the donated pieces are instantly recognizable, but one piece in particular had even a most reserved gentleman a bit giddy. It was a, a lighter, apparently, for officers commanding, and the lighter was a desk lighter. This was circa 1918. Now, this is actually a shell casing, probably a 50 caliber, and somebody suggested it was maybe from a Gatling gun. The first where they had their guns and badges in. All right. Uh, there was a place in there for handcuffs, There's their right? pistol, handcuffs, and bullets. For now, volunteers are going to spend many hours prepping the future exhibit. Until then, the current exhibit, which consists of on-loan items, will remain on display. Sometimes we get things that are on loan and they stay on loan for a very long time, but it's, it's nice if we, if we get it permanent. That means that we'll have it here all the time, regardless of what happens. More information on the West Bank Museum is available online. From West Kelowna for Go Okanagan, I'm Tammy Williams.